Hi, in this short video, we are going to see how to plot a MATLAB 2D figure and then add titles, labels to the figure and also how to change the axis limits in that figure using the script. We will also see how to add superscript and subscript uh, and also some mathematical symbols in the MATLAB, MATLAB figure labels. So let's just uh, go to the MATLAB and see. So at first I have uh, already generated um, the X and Y axis data that we need to plot. You can have uh, another set of data or you can uh, import it from a different file. I just generated an example data set so that we can understand it pretty well. So this X data is, uh, is coming from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's six data points and also Y data. I have manually defined six data points randomly for this example. So now we want to plot this x and y data we can use this plot command and parenthesis the first one is x-axis value comma the second one is y-axis value uh, now that you can you can see this x and y doesn't have to be x and y itself it can, it can be named uh, any other variables so if we just do that complete the parenthesis and if i just run it now it will generate uh, the plot as you can see figure one with the default settings. Now we want to for, uh, add titles and labels to this figure. How can we do that? So let's just um, enter. So to uh, add a title, let's say, this is the command title, parenthesis, single quote, and then let's say the title should be X versus Y graph. Okay, and then quote. Uh, end quote and then end the parenthesis. Now if I run it, the plot should have a title like this. As you can see, it says x versus y graph. We can put anything um, anything we want and that should uh, appear in the title. So for the labels, uh, first let's say uh, x label. So I just type the command x label parenthesis quote start quote and then now let's say the x label is time um, so i can type time uh, end quote and parenthesis and if i just run it and you can see the time appeared in the x-axis you can also add y label here label and let's say amplitude now you can see it's uh, black because i haven't put the quotes uh, I have to put it in in between the single quote and if I end the parenthesis this is my label so I have titles x labels and y labels if I just run it and uh, you can see the labels appeared here now the issue is if we want to add any symbols or add anything like a superscript or subscript how can we do it so let's just say, um, let's assume that in the time we want to add a square. So that will be a superscript, right? So um, we can use this symbol um, and then use a second bracket and let's say two. So that's for the square. Whatever you type in between these second brackets, that will be um, superscripted um, to this variable. So if I just do that and run it, now that it will show up as time squared in the x-axis. Now we can also do a subscript. Instead of using the symbol, we can do an underscore here. And whatever we put here um, in between these second brackets, that will show up as a subscript of time variable. So now it says time subs subscript to we can also add um, symbols like instead of uh, let, let's say in the y-axis or in the title we can add symbols let's say in the uh, amplitude we want to add a symbol alpha how can we do that we can press the forward slash and say alpha and if i just run it now it should show an alpha symbol as you can see in the y labels so we can use these syntaxes in any of these titles and labels and change the 
labels in that way through the script. The other way we can change is to use this property inspector. I have another video that talks about how to use that. Um, I'll link that down below. Okay, so now that we have our desired labels and titles, let's see how to change the limits of these axes. Okay, so I'll just comment here, change limits. So I'll go to the next line and then we can type the commands. Now there's two ways to define the limits of these axes. One is to use individual axis limits. Another one is to use this command called axis. So first let's see how to use this command axis. So I'll type axis and start and close the parenthesis. And in between these, I have to put the third brackets. So you have to remember that these third brackets needs to be there uh, to work, uh, to make it work. So in this axis command, the first uh, two variables are for the x-axis uh, control. So as you can see, uh, my data goes from zero to five. Um, I can say my x-axis could be from negative one to say six. I can, I can do also zero to five or anything that actually relates to my figure. So these two are the lower limit of x-axis and higher limit of x-axis. And if I press space, and now the third value should be the lower limit of y-axis. So my y starts from 0 0.1, 0 0.5 to up to three. So the lower limit could be from, let's say zero. I can also put 0 0.1 and see, but let's say zero is my lower y limit value. And the higher y limit could be, let's say 3.5. Okay, so this is my axis limit I have defined. The x-axis should go from negative one to six. The y-axis should go from zero to 3.5. And if I just run it, this command, as you can see, it manually defined the axis limits uh, in both the directions. And the x-axis goes from negative one to six. The y-axis goes from zero to 3.5. We can also like visually change, like drag these so that um, we'll have a better understanding of the figure. Now, um, if we want to control individual axis instead of using this axis command, we can also do that. So let's just um, comment this one. So I'll just press Control R to comment this one so that it's not uh, activated anymore. So if I just run it again, as you can see, it went to the auto mode and went to the automatic scaling. Now let's just say we want to scale only the X axis. So we can use this command that's called xlim and we can uh, use this command just to control the x-axis. So now let's define the x limit. So I'll uh, start the parenthesis. As you can see, it says xlim the limits. So to input the limits, let's start a third bracket and our limits was from negative one to six so I'll just use the same negative one and six and close the third bracket, close the parenthesis. So this is only going to control the X limit, not the Y axis limit. The Y axis limit by default will be automatic. So if I just run it, this should control the X axis. And as you can see, this controlled and redefined the X axis limit from negative one to six and the Y axis is still defined as automatic. Um, we can individually type another command that's called ylim and do the exact same thing to control the y-axis independently. So I'll say 0 to 3.5 and that should control the y-axis independent of the x-axis. If I just run it and you can see this happen. So in, in case we want to control both the axis, we can use this axis command. But otherwise, if we want to individually control the limits of these axes, we can use these xlim and ylim commands in the script so that we can control this. Don't forget to put in these third brackets in between the parentheses. 
otherwise that will show some error so this is the way to write these scripts and uh, put a title labels and also control the limits of the figure that's it for now thank you for watching see you in the next one